Hi everyone, it's me again. For those that don't know me yet, my name is Jana and you are in the section of my channel that it's called White Cane, where I speak about different topics that have to do one or the other way with visual disability. Uh, and today, well, Diego will ask me some questions that we got from our audience and I'll try to answer them the best possible way. The first question is, were you born blind or you became blind? Uh, no, I was born well healthy and normal and I could see everything perfectly well and I just recently lost my sight, I would say, a few years ago. Question number two, what can you see? Uh, I can see like, as, as if you imagine in old times that the TVs didn't have a good signal, there were like black and white dots, that's what I can see. I, I, I can't see any shades, shapes, I can't even see where the light comes from or very rarely maybe maybe from the light bulb at home, but I have to look towards the light bulb. I mean, I can't walk in the room and notice it, no, no. I just have to look directly there and maybe then I would notice that there's some light. What are the advantages of being blind, if any? Oh yeah, believe it or not, but there are some. For starters, I'm not that upset about cleaning anymore because I can't see that it's uh, messy at home. No, So if I don't touch the things, maybe I don't even realize it's not that clean. Or, I don't know, I don't, the dust doesn't bother me that much anymore. I, I know when I have to do the things, but just by seeing them, it doesn't constantly remind me of that. And there are some other advantages, obviously. Uh, one of them is for sure that I don't judge people by the way how they look like. And I'm not saying that they're racists or sexists or whoever. I'm, I'm not referring to that kind of people, but wanting or not, I don't know. If, if For example, if we see a person smiling, we automatically think it must be a nice person. And if someone is serious, we think that the person is serious or, I don't know, a cold person or something. But it's not necessarily the case because they just might must, might be thinking about something that pre precise moment. No? So uh, masks don't work with me anymore <laughs> because I perceive voices. And I could tell that it's, it's more difficult to hide stuff with your voice because, I don't know, if someone is upset, it's difficult to convince me that a person is not con not upset because I can hear it. So this is one of the advantages. Um, why did you start a YouTube channel? Uh, for several reasons. <clears throat> this, this particular section because um, I didn't have a chance to have a rehab. Uh, like, um, let's say a very good no, process that someone would teach me doing different things. No, I didn't have the opportunity. I, I took like two or three classes of one or two hours and that's it. And the rest is what I, what I found out <clears throat> through checking YouTube, YouTube channel or to with, through speaking with other people that have my condition or some things I even figured out on my own because you're in need and you have to find the solution. And I wanted to kind of do a shortcut for people that are in the same condition as me. And while well, also the emotional part, I, was, I, I decided to share so you see how, how it works for me. And if you are having a hard time that you see you're not a weirdo, not that it's normal, uh, this kind of situation is really, I don't know, it can be really destroying actually. Yesterday I, I, I watched a YouTube video of a YouTuber called Molly, how, what's her name? Burke. Molly Burke. And I didn't know, but it makes a lot of sense to me that we are three times more exposed to suicides, to depressions. It, it makes all the sense in the world because now it's nothing pleasant if you do if you lose your sight. And um, especially many times we don't have a help of the experts. Even though Diego knows, I'm saying that the job of fixing our emotions is ours, but you can always use a guide. So yes, it is very. Um, likely for us to have any kind of emotional troubles or difficulties and I just wanted to share my experience in case it's helpful for anyone that was my purpose and then there's in another section where I speak about Mexico that I love very very much and I also want to wanted to express that part so that was that, that those were my motives do you say it in English like yes to, to, to have my YouTube channel all right um, what do you like the most about having a YouTube channel it's so difficult to say. I don't think I have the most. <laughs> I think everything is. A I lot think of you fun. do. <laughs> you you really love um, answering the the comments, right? But yeah, but I love doing other things too. True. I love thinking about topics to speak uh, because I have to pull out my creativity, 
Um, I, ha I, I like recording too because, well, you are you have to do your best. You have to think. It has to be. It has to have certain sequence. So I like that part too. And yes, obviously, I like to be in touch with 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 my audience because uh, it's always nice to get a feedback, to see if it was useful for someone or not, to get some more questions. That's you create kind of friendships now with with people. Sometimes I feel like being, uh, I don't know, <laughs> Diego says Monica or Rachel for our friends that, I don't know, I watched that series for a long, long time and you feel as if you know them, no? If you, as if they're really, truly your friends. So I really like that part. All right, next um, question would be, what advice do you have for people that are blind or are going to be blind? Oh, it's... I don't know, there, there are many, many thoughts that I have in my head, but if someone gives me two minutes to tell, I would say don't think your life is over, Just you just lost the sight, you're still alive, so don't, don't think it's the worst thing in the world because you're still here kicking around, no? So um, it's, it, it's something really unpleasant, frustrating, horrifying, whatever you want to, but you're still alive, so don't forget you're still alive, it's still worth of living. The second advice, um, it's, it will be very difficult, the emotional part. Uh, I also heard this Molly girl, and she said that she went through the process of grief, and that she had to find a, a new Molly inside. I don't know, I mean, it did work for her, but I didn't, I, 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 it turned out differently with me. Mm, I just accepted that for now, I can't see. I'm not saying it will be like this for life because the scientists are working hard on all kinds of issues and I'm sure many of them are working also on, I don't know, recuperating our site one day. And there are some alternative methods and, well, there are mi miracles or whatever. I mean, I, I don't think it's necessarily for life. Uh, but I have to admit, at the beginning, I was really... Um, impatient and I couldn't wait for a solution to come and right now I'm not anxious about this anymore for I, I, I accepted that for now I can't see and I'm just trying to do the best of my life right now the way it is and if hopefully one day this solution comes I'll be super happy <laughs> and probably also shocked <laughs> because I see many people that I used to see after many years so imagine how they will change <laughs> But I just try to take the best out of, out, of the, the, out of my life that I have it right now. And well, the third thing, you need patience, patience and patience and, and love for yourself. And you just simply have to imagine the, the unconditional love you have for a baby and understanding all the understanding in the world when they're trying to learn to walk, to eat, to do different things. They have a lot of accidents and so will you because it's just impossible to do things without the accidents. At the beginning, there are more accidents than successes, but then you, with, with, with the practice, you learn how to do these things and you have less and less accidents. But the fact is that you'll always have some. So just be patient and understanding and loving with yourself and always, uh, what is it, cherish or? Yes, cherish. Your, your achievements, know that it's a big thing that you can do the things without seeing and be, proud of yourself no and this should be motivating for you to learn some more things and it's if it's still difficult for you to <laughs> to think this way well imagine that a person that you love your parents your couple your your children would have to close their eyes and imagine that they try to do what you're doing without being able to see i think we are more forgiving to other people sometimes so don't be too harsh on you and the next one is um, what advice would you give someone sighted uh, interacting with someone that's blind or visually impaired? Um, I, I would like to say that don't assume what kind of help a person would need and just start helping the person without asking. I think the right thing to do is always, I don't know if you, if you coincide with the person, I don't think you will offend asking, do, do you need any help? Or I don't know if it happened that you spent an afternoon or evening with that person, tell uh, you know what, I, I don't know what things do you need help with, but anything, please let me know. I will happily help you out. And then let the person explain what kind of help with the person need. Only at the beginning, when I barely lost my sight, I had no clue. I, I just wasn't capable to do things, but I, I didn't even know how a person could help me out. 
So at that precise moment, I wasn't capable to tell what, what kind of help I would need. But from that moment on, right now, I already know. So if someone asks me, I would tell, no, I'm fine, thank you. Or could you please do this? Could you please do that? I have no problem. So be considerate, not think that there might be things that we could need some help with, but don't make a decision. What kind of help do we need? Because sometimes with uh, thinking or doing something that you assume we would, it would be helpful for us, it's actually a problem for us. Uh, next question. Have you ever hit or hurt yourself because of your blindness? Can you give us some examples? Oh, yes. <laughs> I did. Thank God I have my uh, medical insurance. <laughs> no, for so far, well, it wasn't that bad, but I did crash into many things. Uh, it, it mainly, mainly it happened at the beginning because of the lack of practice, but then it also happens if, if, if I'm distracted. For example, when I take Lisa to school, I, I know exactly what I'm supposed to find. Plus, then they, sometimes there are some new obstacles like trash, sand, stuff that people put on their streets. So if I'm not careful, um, focusing where I'm walking and remembering what I'm supposed to find, or if I'm not sweeping well enough to figure what new things are there, there are on the street, I can, I can hurt myself. So I did fall over the curb once. <laughs> uh, fall. I just was like, like, como en ranita. Like a frog, um, like um, I kneeled with one, with one, with one knee. You were squatting with one uh -huh, knee. Yeah. I was squatting with one, one knee. I did literally fall, uh, and I hit my head several times, also with a stove at my house, with a bookcase, um, while I was l learning to do different things. Or if I get distracted, that I, I do, I still do have accidents. Uh, well, the last question is: Do you have any life philosophy? Uh, yes, I actually do have it. I. Uh, maybe it will sound strange for you or esoterical for you, but I think things always have the reason for happening. So if I have my condition, it's for, for a reason. I don't know what reason, what that reason is, no? But for sure not to be a victim and to bother everyone around and to whine. I think I have my circumstances to, to do the best out of it. And maybe you're not in that dramatic uh, situations if you happen to be sighted and, and you're watching this uh, video. But whatever situation life puts us, it's always with a reason, according to me, or even if you omit that part, our task is to do the best out of it. And I think we're here on this planet to do, to, to, to do the best out of us, to be the best parents, the best husbands or wives, the best kids, the best brothers and sisters. I think that's why we are here and to enjoy every single second that we have here. Enjoy in a good sense. I'm not telling you to get drunk, to sleep around with everyone, no. But just to enjoy, to really be aware of the moment you have. Enjoy the weather, enjoy the birds, enjoy the food, enjoy, it. enjoy the company of your loved ones, enjoy doing stuff that makes you happy. I think that's the purpose of our life. Well, I hope you, it was interesting. I hope I answered your questions. If you're still not a member of my YouTube family, please uh, join us activate the bell that is at the bottom of my video and you'll be notified for free whenever we we publish any new video see you here next time bye